Hey there folks, Rinium T here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood! I almost said Robert Born, and I almost said Heaven's Word. Wow, brain. <laughs> In the last part, we powered our way through, sort of powered our way through, Eureka, Animos, and now it is time for patch 4.3. I'm actually so excited for this patch. First things first, I believe I mentioned that during Eureka that I forgot to do this, but let's talk about Bianco. So, technically, this is still 4.2. Hmm, Bianco, you say? As in Bianco of the Four Lords, he and his comrades feature prominently in the tale of Tenzin, one of the three great plays that are performed regularly at the Mujizokoza. It just so happens I know the story quite well. As a student of the fine arts, it was my duty to study it closely. I expect what you are about to tell me will be most enlightening indeed. Hidden beneath Hell's Lid, a sanctuary for some, a prison for one. You spoke with the auspices of R Raisin Temple, and there, there was none other than Gembu of the Four Lords. A veritable character from the play come to life. <laughs> Not that I would question the veracity of your account, of course. I merely com comment on the incredible life you lead. And so it fell to you to quell the raging Arami Tama of the legendary of a legendary auspice in battle. My words! I think you faced the legendary White Tiger in battle, the Western Guardian, the bosom of the hero G Tenzin. Yes, yes. The old Tonka coming on. Huh? Ah, forgive me, a form of classical Hingen poetry I was but recently taught by the actors here. Goes without saying, I have yet to master it, so I will thank you for not laughing at my fumbling attempt. Feared and forsaken, seeking death and solitude, saved by fellowship, Snow White, Harbinger of Doom, become beloved legend. You know, in the tale of Tenzin, Byaka was likened to a god of war with near limitless, pow limitless powers of destruction. Not to say that Byaka you face was a weakling, but the picture you paint is of a rather intim less intimidating auspice, don't you think? Uh, so, some might even be willing to cuddle, or at least reach out and rub the belly. But perhaps he has grown more reserved in his old age. Perhaps in his troubled youth, he more closely resembled his portrayal in the legends. Good to think of it. You're not altogether different, you and him. Blessed or cursed with exceptional powers. Defined by them in the eyes of many brave souls that rose to the occasion. The Jade Stoa Extreme is now accessible. Okay, so now! Dash 4.3! Now that I took care of that. Um... No, I did not accidentally go to Rogger's Reach thinking that the quest was there and forgetting it was here in Kugane. Gosetsu and Suyu. Or, as it's known in French, the young girl and the old samurai, as I recently learned. <laughs> not recently, in terms of when I'm recording this, not when in terms of when it's being going up. <sighs> Ah, Arya, impeccable timing. We have just received a letter from Lord Hien. He writes that the Domans are coordinating their efforts with the Blue Kojin to maintain a constant watch over the Red. By staying on the lookout for signs of Crystal Party and the like, they mean to nip any summoning attempts in the bud, thereby satisfying the conditions for peace set down by the Ambassador. For the Garleans part, the Popularis have sent word that the vessel bearing Doman conscripts is soon to arrive in Yangsha. It would seem that the prisoner exchange is to proceed as planned. Lord Hien requests your presence, and I share his view that you should be on hand at this critical juncture. Sure. According to the letter, Yatsu's memory has yet to return, so it looks like she'll be living out the rest of her days in Doma. Assume the ambassador needs to honor the agreement, of course. Before we get to that, however, I think it would be wise to assess her condition one last time. If the Domans have missed any changes in her mental state, however slight, it would be better if Asahi weren't the one to spot it. Agreed. Let's make straight ways. 
for the Enclave, then Lord Hian will be waiting. I'll trust you'll cope in their absence, Tataru. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Just be sure to come back safely. Screw you and your can't execute while jumping. I'm gonna jump around. No, I can't do that. You won't let me. Oh, I see my leather reached you across the Ruby Sea. I thank you for coming so swiftly. Though I wrote at some length on the subject of the forthcoming exchange, there was only one other there was one other matter I neglected to mention. It concerns Kosetsu. As you may have observed, he returned from his review rather the, the worse for wear, despite his best efforts to conceal his condition, or perhaps because of them, he recently collapsed. Good cuts! Is he alright? Confined to bed and grumbling without cease, but he has shown signs of recovery. He made me promise not to tell you, lest you worry unduly, which was all very well when you weren't here. Now that you are, however, I think it high time you receive some visitors. Might you spare him a moment? Yatsuyu has scarce left his side, and I imagine you're curious to see what has become of her as well. We will visit him at once, are you? Alize? Shall we? Open wide now. Please, to you. I'm not so frail that I cannot feed myself. <sighs> I grow weary of the taste of gruel. You don't like it? Can I fetch you something else? Aye, wine! Or if that is not wholesome enough, I don't know. A sweet persimmon from Namai? I enjoyed them in my youth. A persimmon? Nay, pay me no mind. I am full. Besides, we have guests. We are not interrupting your meal. We had heard you were confined to bed and thought you might welcome some visitors. Confined to... A gross exaggeration. A trifle drained from my exertions, perhaps. But with a little rest, I shall be fighting fit again in no time. Take off your clothes. Gosetsu, is this how you've been spending your time? My lady, I assure you, this is not. Off with them. We need to wash you. You stink. Through all these scars, there are so many of them. A life of battle will leave its mark upon a man. Is something wrong to you? It's nothing. I'm fine. But leave me be, woman. I will not be fussed over like some newborn babe.
<coughs> oh my goodness, throat really. They make a convincing pair, do they not? On first acquaintance, I would think him a doting grandsire on her unmodeled grandchild. Indeed, when someone told me a year ago that I would live to bear witness to such a scene, I would have declared them mad. As I, I am relieved to see Gosetsu has lost none of the spirit. But what a turn of events! I mean, for her to suddenly be watching over him! You couldn't make it up! Although I suppose Gosetsu is an old man. But the way he charges through life, it can be easy to forget. Aye, he has resisted decrepitude with the same defiance he showed the enemies of Doma. But no matter how I've met his will, no man can carry on forever. He has pushed himself beyond the limits of endurance too many times. Even if his health, health returns, the fact remains. He will never again be the warrior he once was. He has given his all for liege and land, and we will ask no more. What of his nurse? If Yatsu is feigning bad, <laughs> well, she certainly has me fooled. This is no pretense. Yugiri, out of all of us, I would think you the hardest to convince. So, what makes you so sure? I've been spying on Yatsuya from the shadows, waiting for the misstep that would betray her charade for what it is. But her mask has never slipped, not once. She was, remained in character from the first. One evening, I watched her as she sat in her chambers, unguarded and alone. She had taken the dishes from the cupboard and was pretending to prepare dinner right there on the tatami, a child's game. Even the wariest shinobi would not go to such lengths, I can but conclude that her mind is truly broken. Well, that's good enough for me, and everyone else, I would hazard. Aye, the matter is settled. Yatsu will become Suyu and begin a new life here in Doma. Before that can happen, however, we will need to present her to the ambassador one last time to prove that, prove that her memory is truly gone. But I would not risk parading her in front of our returning conscripts. Her presence at the exchange would only stir up mutinous thoughts. Understandably, she as good as fastened the chains around their necks. I, which is why I mean to conclude this business with, with Suyu first, out of the sight of my countrymen. Will you help me? We are at your service. There is no higher purpose than the pursuit of peace. My thanks. The, my thanks. <laughs> the guardians are on their way, and we must prepare to welcome the ambassador. We'll meet you at the docks with Suyu. Care, what the heck are you doing? Unless you're trying to break on me, which is very possible, I guess. Alright. Well, there isn't much difference. I mean, there is, but I'm already committed to going this way. So. Wait here then, Lord Hien should not be long. My friends, have you seen Suyu? She is nowhere to be found. What? But the Garlands will be landing in a matter of moments. If she's fled, could it mean her memories have returned? I know not. Yugiri is scouting the streets as we speak, but it's possible Suyu has left the Enclave altogether. Captain, a word. Did you perchance, perchance ferry a fair-skinned woman across the river? A fair-skinned woman, my lord? Uh, I do not rightly know. I think... Uh, yes! Yes, my lord. Now you mentioned there was a lady among the passengers whom I do not recall having seen before. Her face was hidden by the brim of her hat, but I remember taking her hand to help her off the boat. Why does New Falls know it was? Was she someone important, my lord? Have I done something wrong? Wrong? No. 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 I was merely hoping to catch her guest before she departed. Be at ease, Captain. So it seems that Suyu has crossed the river. Kami, help me. No good can come of this. Um, sure. Oh. 
Well, so you can see how the prisoners change, or indeed the peace process at large can proceed. We have to find her, and soon. Gone like the morning dew. It seems to you has gone unrecognized thus far, but call me help us if someone catches a clear view of her face. Must find her before that happens. The responsibility for her disappearance, for all of this, was with me. But I would ask for your aid nonetheless. We are at your service, Lord Hean, now as before. Let us make the crossing and begin our search. You go on ahead. Someone should get, let Yuguri know what we found. I'll join you on the other side. We have no way of knowing where Studio is headed, so we be had best to fight our forces. Oh, I, will, I will take Kusakari and the surroundings. I don't know if you would take the road to Castrum Fluminus. Arya, forgive me, but I, what, could I ask you to interrogate the residents of the Yuzuka Manor? One of the Namazu may well have seen our quarry. If everyone is in agreement, so let's this gift and hope the Kami smile upon our efforts. And off to Yaksha. Welcome to Yuzuka Manor. Yes, yes. If there's anything you care to know, you need only hmm? a pale skinned woman. I have n seen no such traveler. I am sorry to say. I'm all sorry. Scaly skin the ones who, on the other hand, we have in abundance. Usually pale skin. Yes, yes. I saw this woman on the way back from my fishing trip. She had just crossed the shallows east of here, was heading in a northeasterly direction for the most part. Her steps did not seem certain. If you hurry, you might still catch her. Oh, hello. Alright. Surrounded by Lupin. You see no signs of Yatsu in the north. Perhaps she's somewhere further, farther off to the northeast. So no sign of Yatsu. Perhaps she is yet farther to the northeast. Nope. This one's taking a little while longer, so clearly it's something important, right? That's a secret. <laughs> as we discuss, as we determine. Yatsu is nowhere to be seen, but lying on the ground a short distance to the northeast by a familiar looking white broomed hat. Mm -hmm. Well, I take it there is a cutscene here, because there is a person here in a cutscene. A cursory glance is all that is required to confirm your suspicions. It is the same hat Yatsu was wearing when he found her in Sakazuki. Yet before you ask, our search of Kusakari and the surrounding has yielded exactly not. Save the chance reunion with you, I suppose. Mistress Alize has gone to assist her brother at the castrum. It was she who informed me of the situation. I joined Lord Hian here shortly thereafter. How did you fare at Yuzuka Manor? Any sign of our missing guest? Horse Namai? By the Kami, the villagers recognize her and not end well. We must hurry. Yugiri and I will check the patties. The village square is yours. Greetings. Might I have one of your... Wait! Please! I only wanted a persimmon! Kami, save us! Her spirit has returned! 
She's back from the dead to seek her revenge. It can't be. She couldn't have survived. What did I... What did I do? As if you don't know! Good people of Namai, be at ease, I pray you. You have naught to fear. My lord, forgive me, but what is that monster doing here? They told us she was dead. I too was surprised to learn of her survival. More even than you, I would hazard. T'was I who cut her down, I who left her to her fate. But it would seem the Kami had other plans. By some miracle, both she and Gosetsu were spared when the keep collapsed, though Yotsugu's preservation came at the cost of her memory. You're saying she's forgotten? Forgotten everything she's done? Lies! Lies! My lord, she would say anything to escape punishment! What does it matter? We have not forgotten her crimes, and we demand justice! I beg of you, Lord Hien, draw your blade and rid us of this canker! What I saw then, it's all true. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You're sorry. And what? We're supposed to forgive you. Here, there's no need to cry. Can't you see how scared she is? How can you be scared of her? She's not the same. Until such time as her memories return, this woman shall be known as Tsuyu and treated as a citizen of Doma. I will, however, see that she is watched at all times. Rest assured that there will be no more unannounced visits to the village. As your lord, I ask that you leave her fate in my hands and suffer her to live for now. Please, Issei. All right. I'll keep my peace. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters.
fruits of her labor. That oh, would have been better avoided. But at least it did not end in bloodshed. And judging by Suya's reaction, she remains oblivious to the events of her former life. There was no escape attempt. Nay, it seems it was an offhand request of Gosetsu's which brought her to the Mai. She came in search of a persimmon. Ah, they say fruit is good for the health. I do hope Gosetsu finds a taste to his liking. Well, we have certainly taken a long way around, but let's continue on to Castrum Fluminus and our meeting with the Ambassador. Alpino and Alize should still be there, conducting their search. Seems our Imperial guests have already arrived. It's time to meet with the Ambassador. What a pleasure it is to see you once more, Lord Hien. Not to mention my dear sister. A pleasure to see you too, Ambassador. Forgive us our late arrival. You have our people aboard the airship? Exactly as agreed. We would leave you in no doubt as to the purity of our intentions. I dare say it was the self-same spirit of cooperation which prompted you to bring Yotsuyu here today. Indeed. Before excluding her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. Physically, she is in fine health, but her mind is unchanged. So I see. But all need not necessarily be lost. In anticipation of this tragic turn of events, I took the liberty of inviting some special guests. Yatsuyu, you look well. Something wrong, dear sister? These are our beloved parents. Does not the sight of them bring back sweet childhood memories? surprise was not sufficient. You needn't glare at me so, Lord Hien. I merely did what any loving son would do for his family. 
Lest you doubt, I am content to leave the acting viceroy in your care. Pray, treat her as you would any daughter of Dorma. Do not grow too fond of this place, dear sister. You will come back to us ere long. We continue with the exchange as planned, then. Very good. The structure across the river should serve our needs. We shall await you there with the conscripts. If you would bring your captives. Agreed. Until then, Ambassador. I knew better than to trust Asahi, but that was a dirt. Than to trust Asahi, but that was a dirty trick. Still unpleasant as it was, we have at least put the manner of Suya's future to rest. I sent her back to the enclave with Yugiri to give Gosetsu his precious persimmon. Come, let's follow them. You have that look, Alpha. Now, what is it? Oh, nothing of consequence, most like. We can discuss it upon our return. Oh. Hello, free warp. We should pay a visit to Gosetsu and then reassure him about Suyu's fate. He will want to know that the Empire has fully re finally relinquished its claim on her. Gosetsu, are you awake? My lord, come in, come in. When Tsuyu returned, her eyes were red from weeping. She spoke not a word, simply sat and peeled some fruit she'd brought for me. She then claimed weariness and retired to her chamber. Tell me, what happened to upset her so? The ambassador arranged a surprise reunion with her foster parents. A misguided attempt to restore Yotsuyu to her senses. It was plain their presence caused her great distress, but she seemed otherwise unaffected. Yotsuyu was mistreated as a child, was she not? It was a cruel trick to use her tormentors like that, knowing the pain it could cause. Like this Asahi less and less. Be that as it may, he has agreed to allow Yotsuyu to remain with us in Doma. Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident and bring our people safely home. There was one other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. The Imperials were quick to retrieve them afterwards, but I wonder. Uh, 
Out with it, brother. You fear they might contain bombs or war machines? If the ambassador wanted me dead, he has had ample opportunity. No, assassination is not his intent, but we should be on our guard for other acts of treachery. My lord, forgive me, but the lady yachts to you. She's gone. Gone? I beg your pardons, my lords. I was certain she'd fallen asleep. No, no, the responsibility is mine. Twas I who gave her a room instead of a cell. She may simply have wandered outside. We will organize search parties. Might I call upon your assistance? Didn't we literally just do this? Like, I'm pretty sure we literally just did this. Kind of deja vu here. Okay, well, that feeling of deja vu is gone. after what I did to him. Who's there? <gasps> oh, it's you. What are you doing out here in the dark? This is the Enclave, is it? When the soldiers dragged us back to Doma, you were the last person I expected to see. You're the bane of our existence, Yotsuyu! A font of misery! You couldn't even do us the simple courtesy of dying, could you? Oh no! You had to live and taint us with the shame of your failure! We had a perfect life in the capital, and now they're making us wallow in this muddy ruin like common swine! I don't deserve this! Now, now, dear, that'll do. There seems little point in berating the girl when she scarcely remembers her own name. Our time would be better spent contemplating how we're to survive this unhappy predicament. You've kept your looks at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyer. Maybe enough to get us to Kugani and start a new business. <laughs> ah, 
my beloved parents. No sooner do I wake from gentle slumber than the world returns in all its cruelty. Yes, this is how it always was. How it was meant to be. Very well. If I cannot escape my nature, then I shall embrace it. To the very depths I have sunk, my soul steeped in spite and rotten to the core. The self-righteous hide behind justice, but I need no such mask. Father, mother, was it not you who made me into this monster? Who taught me the truth of this miserable world? For years I knew naught but the taste of pain and humiliation. But the time has come to savor my vengeance against Dorma. Against all my enemies. And it begins with you! Yatsuyu! <laughs> Well done, dear sister. Did I not say you would come back to us? Brother dearest, what a surprise. You always were a cold-blooded little worm. I doubt you thought twice about sending our parents to their deaths. Your dagger yet drips with their blood, and you presume to judge me? To be frank, I didn't think you had the strength to slay them so cleanly. A single thrust each. I'm impressed. But surely you can't be satisfied with murdering a pair of doddering elders. You yearn for a deeper vengeance, and the power to see it through. Any sign of her? What happened here? I knew what would happen if she recovered. And still, I did nothing. You say she left with her brother? Whatever he wants with her, he was willing to pay for it with his parents' lives. But this is neither the time nor the place. We must gather the others. We recovered the near 
uh, Nairi's remains, and we'll hold a cremation anon with the day I'd never set foot in Doma. I broke the news to go said to myself. He was quiet. I think it best that he be allowed some time alone with his thoughts. Conscripts and contingencies. So, my friends, that which we feared has come to pass. Yatsu has regained her memory and returned to the Imperial Fold. It is by any measure a cruel twist, not least for Gosetsu, but one which does not invalidate our agreement. According to the terms of the contract, we were bound to surrender Yatsu into the Garlean's hands should their condition improve prior to the hour of the exchange. By that reckoning, all is, if not as it should be, then as it must be. This I can accept. But what I cannot accept are the unconscionable acts to which Asahi went to achieve this outcome. Given his recent conduct and his apparent admiration for Xenos, it is plain he cannot be trusted. And that is to say nothing of the unexplained containers he insists on bringing to our meetings. Whatever the ambassador is planning, I think it unlikely our negotiations will end peacefully. In the event of hostilities and the safety of the conscripts must be our first concern. As such, I would have an escape route in place before the meeting begins. A wise precaution. If the main structure of Castrum Fluminus is to be the stage for the exchange, then I believe a thorough inspection is in order. The citadel has stood empty ever since the imperial withdrawal. While we took steps to ensure that it could not be defended by an occupying force, it is entirely possible that the ambassador has arranged things there to his advantage. I will slip inside and make certain we have an unobstructed exit. Pray allow me to join you. I have some experience with Imperial facilities, and should matters take a turn for the worse, I would hope to be of at least some use. Very good. That should be enough to guarantee us a way out of the Castrum. Beyond that, however, we will need a ship to ferry the conscripts back to the Enclave. Even with every skiff we have, it would take several trips to evacuate everyone. A confederate uh, Sekibun, on the other hand, would require only a single run and leave us far less vulnerable on the water, assuming, of course, Rasho can be convinced to part with one. I take the lead on this. I've had dealings with Rashon's pirates before. I won't be alone, will I, Arya? I suppose not. Well, that was enthusiastic. Were you hoping to join Yugiri and Alphino on their skulking mission by any chance? Hm. I am certain you would make a persuasive pair, but I think I will accompany you to these negotiations all the same. My lord, the ruler of Dilma should not be seen consorting with common brigands. Come now, Yuguri. They stood with us against the Empire. If we would ask their aid once more, we must treat them as equals. My presence shall serve to demonstrate our sincerity. Indeed, my lord, pray forgive my presumption. By your leave, Master Alphino, and I shall be about our task. be on their way to Onokura. Tamishara and Rasho may take some convincing. Now there's a face I did not expect to see. What brings the noble lord of Doma into the company of bilge rats such as we... They've come to offer dumb and chains in place of garlean ones, and I'm afraid he wasted his trip. <laughs> what fine subjects he would make! We are fleet at our disposal, our restoration efforts would be hastened tenfold! But let's speak seriously. I stand before you not to demand your fealty, but to request your aid once more. Mayhap you are confused. Doma's liberation was but a means to an end. We aided you only to save ourselves. Now we have no such incentive. We have sworn no oath to you and will not come running like hounds at their master's whistle. And I would not presume to treat you thus. I come to petition your cooperation as an ally of equal standing. Equal standing, you say? It seems a bit lopsided to me. Where's the profit for us in all of this? 
Robin, as you always think in such short-sighted terms, have you ever heard of doing the right thing? Have you ever heard of pirates, Middle Little Miss? You find more simple souls. You pay our tithe, you sail in peace. Then the answer do, we take it by force. We'll pull you out of the water if we see you drowning, but we are not in the business of doing something for nothing. Calm yourself, Mr. Salise. We did not come here to moralize. We came here to talk, and there is more to be said. According to records recovered from the liber after the liberation, the relatives of your dumb and born brethren were among those conscripted into the Imperial Army. And as you may be aware, we recently negotiated the return of said conscripts. Many, alas, will arrive and find no families waiting for them, no homes to grant them shelter. I would ask that you offer them a place in the Confederacy. You would not be recruiting strangers, but welcoming brothers and sisters into your ranks. And has not the Confederacy been in need of new recruits? You seem well informed of our affairs, Lord Hian. The losses we suffered at the Guardian's hands are no secret. But since we drove them out of Doma, the Ruby Sea has come alive with traitors and travelers. So many vessels attacked, so few pirates attacks them. I could do with some more hands on deck, and doubly so if they're familiar with the inner workings of the Empire. Very well. The Confederacy, Confederacy agrees to your request. You will have your ship. But before that, you must do something for me. The vessel I have in mind was damaged during your battle with the Empire. Though we have mended her, she has yet to be declared seaworthy. If she is sound enough down below, but when you load her up with conscripts and the water line rises, those upper planks had best be free of cracks. Assuming you want your people to stay dry, you will do me the favor of swinging around the hole to check for weaknesses. That is, if Doman Lords are not averse to getting their robes wet. Not this, Doman Lord. If we each inspect a third of the ship, we shall be done in a, in a trice. That's the spirit. The ship is moored at Quick Skate Pier. Our apprentice shipwright will be on deck to hear your report. And look for the lad named Ihan Ashi. And I thought I had a knife for parlaying with pirates. For the record, my previous attempt was an unmitigated success, and yes, I should have quit while I was ahead. Well, well, I thought the rumors exaggerated, but the young lord lives up to his reputation. Dive, dive in, but if I get closer inspection, these boss will crack in one of the planks. And over here somewhere, right there. Oh, I'm flight. No, I was too low apparently. See no signs of damage here. Shipwright, or apprentice shipwright, did you find anything that might need attention? A section I inspected seems solid enough. On the port side near the bow, you say? Alright, I'll have a look and see what I can do. My apologies, I seem to have like behind. I could float in that gentle sea all day. Otherwise, I'm happy to report no visible cracking or holes in my section of the hull. Your Lord Hean! The captain sent you to inspect the hull? Come here for mercy. Forgive us this discourtesy, my lord. Huh, tis quite all right. In fact, I rather enjoyed it. I take it you are of Doma? Y yes, my lord. The Imperials took my family father away after the uprising. I had nowhere else to turn. Get the Confederacy became my family. But someone told me that they're releasing the conscripts now. Maybe my father will be among them. Not that I can go back. There's no leaving once you've joined. How fair is our lady? Is she see where Captain, we uh, we found a small crack in the port side, but I'll have it fixed before you know it. I see you've met the boy. Did he tell you a story? He battles when he is nervous. 
Should his father be among the conscripts, as he hopes, I mean to give him the choice to leave this life. If he so chooses, I expect you to see they are provided for. I've heard that those who join the Confederacy forswear all ties with kin and homeland. Is that oh so easily put aside? If I allow it. If I see in him the lad I saw 25 years ago. You say the words, you mean them. But the yearning for home still lingers. My family is long dead, and I know this life is my lot. But he has scarce dipped his toes with us. If there is life for him in Zoma, he should have the chance to live it. Well said. The Empire's conquest has uprooted many and more. Be in Yangsha or out on the Ruby Sea, we have a duty to ensure that Iyanashi and others like him are free to dwell where they desire. Then the matter is settled. I'll make preparations to cast off. Well, my friends, it seems we have our ship. Let us return to the Enclave. It seems Yukari and Alphanel completed their task before us. They have been waiting. With scout destruction determined the swiftest path to, path to safety. In the event of hostilities, we will lead the conscripts outside with all possible haste. From there, the Confederacy has pledged a ship to ferry us across the One River. Now we are about to attend the exchange and pray to the committee's precautions were unnecessary. And on the note of Question mark, question mark, question mark. Thank you for watching. In the next part, we will question mark, question mark, question mark. I guess through the exchange. I mean, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoy it, consider supporting the channel. All support greatly really helps to keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description, along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, this is Radio T. Signing out, not yawning out, signing out. Bye!